What's up guys, my name is Gaming with Jord. I stream over on kick.com. I know a lot of people, if you're watching this video, you probably don't have the weapon stand, or if you do, you probably have it to like level one or level two or whatever. Um, and if you don't, and that's why you're clicking on this video, I'm gonna tell you if it's worth getting it. It's very expensive uh, to get all the parts that you need to get to weapon stand part three, but I'm gonna be showing you right now on how it looks. So here you go, this is it all maxed out. Looks pretty clean, man. You got the whole border going around it and everything. You got the lights. It looks fucking sick. Now, the number one tip I want to give you is that a lot of people don't know this. As you see, when you go and you drag on guns, so you do get more slots once you get level three. I think you get a couple more extra rows at the bottom. But as you see, you might be like, ah, oh, damn, dude, is it even worth it? Like, with level two, this is pretty much as many guns I can get on it anyways. Except for like this little last bottom row. And you might be thinking, is it worth it to get eight guns on it? Yes, it is. Don't get me wrong. But you can actually do something so where you can make it so you can add more onto the weapon rack itself. Now, what you want to do, let's take all these off right here. Now, all these guns, I took the mag off and the grip. And now, what that does is it creates it to be a one-lined like uh, thing in your stash. But as you see, when you drag it over, it says, cannot equip the weapon. Some of the vital parts are missing. So that doesn't work, right? So then you have to, you would tell yourself that you have to use it like this, right? You, ha you would have to have the grip on for it to work. No, you can actually get away with pressing control or whatever your keybind is for it. Whatever your thing is to like fast swap something into your bag. So you know what I mean? So you would do it with a weapon, right? You would just click control click and there you go. They all go in. It's weird because like when you drag it over, it doesn't go in, but all you have to do is just press control click and then they all go in and look at this man. Look how much room you get from only having eight guns. You now have all these guns. So you have a lot of stash room for your guns. You honestly wouldn't even need a weapon case at all because look, you have two whole rows to do this in. So then you can just add all these guns back to obviously you would have to take off the grip and the mags and it looks fucking sick, man. The weapon rack is such a cool addition to the game. And yeah, there you guys go. And if you get your uh, shooting range to level 3, you can also take all these guns easily. Just grab it off the thing. Grab the gun. Let's take the Val out. And boom. There you go. God. A lot of stutters. The game didn't like that. Anyways, there you guys go. And the question is, is it worth? 100%. Completely worth. Alright guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys need any more tutorials, I have I have a labs guide up on YouTube. I have two shorelines, one for the resort and one for town and cottages. And I have a lot more videos that I have planned to make for you guys. Give the video a like, comment what you want to see next, and I'll make sure to help you guys with that. Later.